All right, guys, went back today with one of the nicest 3 to 18 scopes I've ever used, hands down, period, end of discussion, the Vortex Razor HG Gen 2. Before we get too far into it, I want to give a huge shout out to Optics Planet for supporting the channel and sending this scope over for long-term testing and evaluation. We've really put a lot of rounds through it, and I feel comfortable doing this review. I really like to put a lot of rounds through optics, especially ones that cost Kind of as much as this one does. It is not cheap. The MSRP on this optic is $2,500 and it is on sale right now on Optics Planet's website for $1,699. So definitely not a budget scope by any means. I do have that coupon code though, 704TAC, to save you 5% off of Optics Planet's website on a wide variety of products, including this optic. Now, with all that being said, this thing knocks it out of the water. And if you were looking for one jack of all trades, precision rifle scope, you would be hard pressed not to look at this optic, especially for the price when it comes to other scopes in this category. Scopes in this category regularly run two to three grand. And the feature set on this is insanely impressive, especially for that sale price of right around 1600 ish dollars after my code. Now, I'm going to talk about the specs and features, the overall performance down at the range, as well as the overall build quality to help you determine whether the scope is right for you or not. And then if this is just way out of your price range, definitely take a look at my channel. I review a lot of other budget scopes, but guys, this one is one of my favorites that I've seen thus far on the channel. Now I have the MOA version and currently that one is back ordered, but the MRAD version of this optic is an extended back order. They don't even list the back order time. So take that in consideration when you're looking at this optic. Now I'm gonna talk about all of the reticle and the glass clarity and the eye box, but I wanna talk about the user interface and the build quality of this optic before we dig into that. And I wanna discuss the turrets. The turrets on this guy are some of the nicest turrets I've ever seen on an optic hands down period. They're locking turrets and they are rather large with very nice texturing. So we'll pull them up, they pop into place very nicely. And these detents are ball detents. They pop into place, they're crisp, they're clean, there is no back play, there is no bounce. These are amazing turrets, some of the best I've ever felt on an optic. And then they snap right back down to lock in place. These are also zero stop turrets, meaning if you're winding up for an incredibly long distance shot and you're winding back down, you don't have to keep track of how many revolutions. You throw it all the way back down until you hit the zero stop. And then these also set a very interesting way with that zero stop mechanism by loosening the three bolts, pulling them off, adjusting the windage and elevation internally so this stays at that zero stop, and then replacing these caps. I'm not going to show that because Vortex does an amazing job on their website of showing those videos, and you can look those up on YouTube of how to set the zero stop, but you simply remove this, kind of set the windage and elevation up here, then you'll put this back on after you loosen up those 
three bolts on the side, then you'll tighten those back up. So not a hard process at all. It's just not necessarily intuitive. You'll have to do something like that. Then your windage and elevation, again, you just pop those turrets out and then you'll adjust those very nicely. So that is pretty darn slick. I absolutely love the way the turrets work. On the sides, you have a side parallax adjustment, which is ultra smooth. I mean, it is also has some good tension on it, but not too much tension with very nice texturing located on the side. And then the illumination knob has some nice knurling. You'll actually pull out the illumination knob and then you'll adjust the illumination there. And then it illuminates the internals of the reticle. I'll show you guys that. The illumination is gonna be great for dusk and kind of twilight shooting if you're using this as a hunting opt optic or you're shooting precision targets at a long distance. That illuminated reticle is really nice. And again, it's got on and off positions between each of the set brightness settings, which is pretty slick. And then the knurling allows you to twist that really nicely and pop it back down. Now this is a 34 millimeter tube option, so it's gonna gather and transmit a ton of light. And that is where a lot of these optics really shine above and beyond some budget optics. They're going to extend your shooting performance well into twilight, well into dusk, when you normally are going to kind of bail out on a hunt this is going to extend that a little bit further. And this gathers light tremendously and it transmits it to your eye incredibly well. They've done an amazing job with that performance. On the back again, you've got the zoom from three to 18. It's incredibly smooth, nice texturing, and they do a good job of just allowing the user to feel like you're getting a good quality scope. It also has the adjustable diopter on the back. Again, very nice. And in the box is included with a sunshade. I did most of my shooting with the sunshade, which is pretty nice. It just threads onto the front, but it does add a substantial amount of length on this guy. So something to consider right there. You can see how long it gets. The fit and finish is spectacular. The build quality is amazing. And I absolutely love everything about the user interface with this optic. Now let's talk about that glass clarity reticle and performance down at the range. So the cool thing about this optic is it also ships with an instruction manual specifically for this reticle system. Explains everything perfectly. And here you can see what actually illuminates when you turn the illumination on. It also has very thick leader lines in, and this is a first focal plane reticle, meaning as you zoom in and out, the reticle zooms in and out. As you can see in the intro, this is gonna be key for a lot of different scenarios. The fact that this is a three to 18 scope means this is very, very impressive. And I, I try to explain it a lot of times, most scopes are gonna be three to nine or four to 16 or six to 24. Those are the standard configurations. This one goes all the way down to three with an incredibly usable reticle with a wide field of view at that three power setting. So you can really scan an entire field if you're hunting or using this for personal defense, you'll be able to scan an entire field and get a good situational awareness of what's going on, track game across a the field, then dramatically zoom into the 18 power setting for incredibly long distance shots or very precise shots on target, knowing that as you zoom in and out, that reticle stays the same, meaning that if it's gonna be one MOA, it's one MOA, one MRAD, one MRAD. No matter what zoom level you're at, you can range effectively and you can use this reticle effectively for your bullet drop compensation. It talks about ranging and different MOA ranging formulas in this booklet. And it's a really nice instructional manual that explains everything very nicely because if you're gonna drop this on a rifle, you're gonna really wanna learn it and understand it. And this booklet helps you do that. You can see all of the information about windage and elevation holds on your specific reticle system that you select. All of that information is gonna be in that booklet and it works really well. With all that being said, the center of the reticle itself, especially at the 18 power setting being a first focal plane optic, a lot of times companies are gonna to have to sacrifice certain things, but they've really nailed it down to where you can still have a precise aiming dot at the center, almost a micro infinity dot, if you can see that right there. And then they leave that center portion hollow, right where you can see that around that dot so you can still clearly make out your target. And then all of those fine dots and details really emerge when you start zooming into the 18 power setting. And uh, about 12 to 18, they really kind of pop and they show you all of the information you need without being overly cluttered, in my opinion. They've done an amazing job with the reticle. 
Now the eye box and eye relief are spectacular on this optic, meaning as you move your face forward and away from the uh, the front of the optic, what that's going to allow you to do, especially with a good eye relief right here, is it's not gonna black out as you get closer or farther away. It's gonna be very forgiving. The eye box is also very forgiving, meaning as you move up, down, left, and right, it's got a very good eye box. So if you don't get uh, your cheek placement 100% down on like that three and four power setting while you're tracking that game across a field and you're moving and you're maybe propping up on something, that is going to give you a more forgiving eye box to allow you to take your shots and not have that reticle system black out. Now this is some of the clearest glass I've seen on an optic. They've done an amazing job with glass clarity and edge clarity. I don't even have anything to compare it to. This is the top of the line that I personally own. They done an amazing job. Now, are there other optics out there that may be a little bit better? Uh, maybe, I can't say because I haven't tried a, a lot of those higher end optics that are climbing the two to three grand. This is one of the nicest scopes I've owned and it just blows me away the quality of this. I don't see how you could possibly need anything better in a three to 18 when it comes to the reticle and glass clarity and just generally the overall performance of this optic. With all of that being said, I love this. It works incredibly well and it does an amazing job down at the range. I have no complaints about it other than it is a little bit heavy. You're going to get that weight with this type of optic. So if you're looking for that lightweight backpacking hunter build, this may not be the optic for you. It is a little bit weighty, but for a precision long range jack of all trades precision scope, this thing is awesome. I am a huge fan and I absolutely think it's worth that sale price that Optics Planet has it on. I would definitely consider this. I know it is a small fortune, especially for my channel anyways to have something like this featured on here, but I do think it puts a lot of other things in the perspective. When you grab something like this, you're getting a truly professional grade optic that you can trust in almost any situation to do the job, especially with the three to 18 nature. That seems the perfect zoom combination of even close up 50 yard, 25 yard shooting all the way out to well past a thousand yards with this optic. It is an awesome option to have to the collection. If you can afford it, I would definitely check it out. Again, all the information, linking and codes will be in the description below. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.